Hello, I'm just in Global Energy's dispatch department and I noticed one of our filters. So I thought I'd give a quick uh, five minute video on heat pumps and their filters. So first question is why do we need a filter on a heat pump? Well, the main component within the heat pump that all the water passes through is the uh, condenser or, or heat. It's ultimately a heat exchanger, but, but we call it a condenser because that's where the refrigerant condenses um, as it changes state. Now, these things are huge, as you can see, very deep, and I've actually cut it in half to give you a cross-sectional um, view on it. So if you look inside here, the waterways are incredibly narrow. So if you imagine any debris that's in a heating system, if they make their way into this, they get blocked up really easily. And they're incredibly difficult to clean out. You can back flush them um, to, to, to help clean them, but once they're blocked, they're blocked. So all heat pump manufacturers, including us, send a Y strainer out. Now Y strainers do the job in that they protect the condenser. However, they also cause their own problems. They've got quite a narrow waterway, so they've got a very low KV value, which means that as you pass more water through them, the pressure builds backwards up. It's almost like a three lane highway or a three lane motorway going into one. So the pressure builds, it makes it very difficult for the pump to overcome that pressure. And then the other thing is as debris does capture within it, because it's a small, gauze and a small cross-sectional area they block up quite easily so you heat pump installers will, will know about these things because you'll get nuisance call outs to clean them out now obviously system water quality is important that's like priority number one whether you use the vdi standard or chemical cleaning but there's always debris within a system and no matter how hard you try there's going to be something and we've got to protect that condenser so that was the tool of choice but because of the nuisance issues, a few years ago, we looked out to the market and, and looked for a heat pump filter, a specific heat pump filter. And there wasn't anything at the time. I know there is a couple of manufacturers making them now, but we decided to make our own and supply it with every heat pump we sell. So we made this filter um, and it is Global en Energy branded. Um, and what does it do? So it's got a gauze in it and it's got a magnet. So if we remove the magnet and we move the central section, I'll show you inside. got a gauze so what's good about it good thing is it's got a really good high kv value we can chuck loads of water through it and the pressure doesn't build up too much so so it, it's good from that aspect the other thing is the big gauze takes forever to block up and the magnet itself pulls away the waste and um, the metallic waste now the other thing that i like about it is it is stainless steel and stainless steel is obviously robust we put a 25 year warranty on this Again, the plastic filters that are out there, I'm not keen on plastics in heating systems because I feel that they do become brittle over time. You know, 10 years down the, time, down the line, if you're pulling out a plastic uh, magnetic filter, I've had them fail on me, O-rings have split. It's been a nightmare. This thing's pretty solid and reliable. So yeah, there you go. Uh, heat pumps and their filters. Out with the old and, and in with the new, really. So, cheers.